I'm going to uh, point out starting right here. Temperature alone is not sufficient to explain shortstop. Given that low temperatures are unlikely to be fatal for whooping cranes, the combination of temperature change and high food availability may facilitate overwintering further north because additionally food is necessary to satisfy the high energetic requirements of overwintering in colder place. Northward shifts in overwintering distributions of both Canada geese and sandhill cranes in the same region have been linked to long-term temperature trends and increasing agricultural food subsidy. And as for whooping cranes, temperatures alone cannot explain these shifts. In fact, although climate is the most commonly studied driver of shortstopping, the first descriptions of the phenomenon attributed to attributed it to changes in land use. The association between short stopping sites and croplands and whooping cranes indicates that land use in combination with climate change has played an important role in driving short stopping behavior. So this was in an article in 2016, uh, publication done by Nature Communications, and it, if that don't tell you what they found with whooping cranes and sand hills and Canada geese, do you think that that's not happening with ducks? It, it very much is happening with ducks, and this study was just done three years ago, okay? So that should open up y'all's eyes, and this goes fully against what was just put out, saying that no studies have been done to see if short-stopping actually exists. But we'll add some more stuff, and we'll continue on, and because I have tons of these articles.